Another option that you can do if you have people that you think might not want to help or um, you are feeling shy about asking them to help you or you're not as comfortable is before he comes out, place other toys, maybe some of his favorite toys um, out around the person or in the living area. So when you bring him out, the person, the guest is not the only special thing in your house so his energy is going to spread out like oh what's that toy oh my favorite teddy bear is here and he might even want to grab that initiate play with your guest with the toy in his mouth mm -hmm. which will prevent him from nipping on your guest or getting overly excited so you want to spread his focus or his energy a little bit more so it's not all of it on one person like mm -hmm. his excitement is good but too much excitement can lead to trouble. Okay, so I'm gonna have you bring him out. We placed his favorite toys. Let's see what he does. You can see he's already smelling one. He smelled his other one. Oh, good boy! And you can pet him and tell him, praise him, good boy! Go ahead and praise him. Good boy! See, and now he's like coming up. So as you can see, his attention is more on the toy than your guest. And if he wants to come up and he's allowed to be on the couch, that's completely fine. Here, I'll move this pillow so he has space. There you go. And see now he is able to be right next to your guest so they can pet him, but it's not in a naughty way that he's jumping on you. And those are nice long strokes that you're doing. They're much calming. Do it a little slower and take just a few breaks in between. There you go. And you can see he's still wanting to use his mouth, but it's actually going towards the toy rather than your guest. And you're not getting frustrated. Mm -hmm. And you're actually enjoying the whole situation of having people over.